Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's Chopper. Now, the Infinite Warfare Zombies DLC 2 trailer has just come out, and the map name is called Shaolin Shuffle. So, basically, we're going to break down this entire trailer, and I'm going to show you guys all the new things that we need to talk about within this map. Now, if you guys are excited for this map and you find this video interesting, make sure you do drop a like. We're going to aim for 115 likes on this video, of course, and that would really mean a lot to me. But, of course, like I said, the map name is going to be called Shaolin Shuffle, and this is going to be in the 70s in New York City. As we kind of predicted, we thought it was either going to be New York or Chicago, but it's now been confirmed that it's going to be New York City, and this is going to focus around a sort of kung fu um, theme. Now, as you guys can see right here, there is a brand new perk, but for the life of me, I cannot tell what that is. There's no words on it that I can read or anything like that. So, if you guys have any ideas of what that could possibly be, or if you have, like, any sort of uh, suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think that new perk is. But we have never seen that before so that's pretty cool to see they're adding something brand new and then speaking of brand new things we looks like we have a new like boss battle like per every five rounds and as you guys can tell right here it looks like we have zombies that are red eyed and on roller skates now in zombies in spaceland we had the clowns to fight every five rounds and then in raven the redwoods we had the yetis to fight every five rounds but they all had a special ability right the clowns were kind of quick and they also would blow up if they get too close to you causing you explosive damage and also the yetis would be able to throw projectiles at you you know they'd like pick up a skull off the ground and chuck it at you so they have some sort of special ability but these zombies on roller skates it's not very clear what their ability is and uh, we don't know how difficult these things are going to be as in comparison to the other ones. But apart from that, right here we get a nice like panoramic view of the map, and we also get to see a lot of the new weapons we're going to be using, and it, it seems like this map is going to be centered around melee weapons. You're going to see a lot of melee kills within this trailer. Now whether or not it's going to be like Raven the Redwoods where you pick up melee weapons, and that's how that works, or maybe this is just the brand new melee that we have, that's hard to say. We're not really sure. We do see a couple different weapons being used on zombies, so it's kind of like, I guess we're going to be picking these up kind of similarly how we did in Rave would be my best guess. I just think it's really interesting to see them going this route, because the melee weapons were I guess the most popular thing and it seems like that's what they're focusing in on again it looks like we have katanas here as well we have some type of swords and it looks like they're unarmed for most of the time I mean they do have guns at certain points in the trailer but this just seems to be so melee and hand-to-hand -hand combat focused and you can see like there's a special melee right here as well it's like an elemental punch we see a couple different types of these throughout the trailer so what's kind of got me thinking is that either these are specific per player or maybe these have to do with the wonder weapons we don't really know and then as you can see by the zombie the way they're dressed up this is going to be centered around like the kung fu kind of theme then upcoming right here we can see our finally the celebrity character who has been revealed and it is of course Pam Greer and she's gonna be helping us out throughout this map and we can see her a lot in combat with us and I guess we have to go talk to her for wisdom and uh, kind of get some guidance on the Easter egg because I mean that's what happens throughout all the other maps right zombies in space land we got to talk to David and then in Raven the Redwoods we had to talk to Kevin Smith a whole lot so it looks like Pam Greer is gonna be like our, our person of wisdom for this map now something I didn't notice the first time, and you guys probably didn't either, but I think is definitely worth mentioning, is that right there you just saw the three characters walking towards Pam Greer, and then Andre's right here just kind of off doing his own thing wherever he is. I thought it was kind of strange how he wasn't with the original characters, and he's just kind of by himself. Do you think that means something, or are they just going for a cinematic shot? Let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section down below, because I did think that was quite strange. But here we go, we got some more of these elemental punches, it looks like, or some kind of uh, wonder effect. These are most likely tied into like how you get the wonder weapons and they're most likely upgradable but it's I just think it's kind of weird how many melee weapons and like new stuff that we have in this like we just see a ninja star being thrown and I think that's really really cool but what do you guys think about like it being centered around melee weapons because throughout this trailer you haven't seen a whole lot of guns there has been some shots of them especially right here kind of running through and there's a, new, a brand new electric trap but they had weapons right there but it just seems like in every shot they're just using hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff. And of course right here we get what is either a shot of the mini bosses in the map kind of like the bridge or the uh, the slash and raven the redwoods or this could actually be the uh, the main boss fight itself and who are fighting now if you guys look really closely right here you can see that this is a person and this is most likely arthur mcintosh i'm going to tell you with almost 100 percent certainty that's who it is and it looks like we're going to be fighting him in the main easter egg boss fight that would be my predictions for this anyway and you can see that our characters are absolutely just laying into him with their weapons and uh, he has like all these rats and stuff coming out of him i'm not even gonna lie this map looks absolutely insane it looks like they're really in in the way that they're going in this uh, through like all the new melees and that sort of stuff and new traps and pro probably even the boss fight in the Easter egg we'll have to see how that actually does play out but it looks like they're actually trying some new stuff here which I'm really happy about and uh, is definitely good for the mode and then now uh, right here we have a shot of point Dexter's katana it glows and sort of turns into some kind of wind element as you can see right here it just absolutely pushes the zombie so far back and uh, I think that's cool but I think that this fo focus on melee weapons is
is going to either turn some people off or it's really going to help them enjoy the map. And I don't know what side of the fence I'm on about that. It doesn't seem there's a huge emphasis on guns and ranged weapons and that sort of thing. And uh, I'm honestly not really sure how I feel about that yet. I think melee weapons have done correctly and they all have like a unique style and feel to it. I think you'd be very, very good for this map. But we'll have, kind of have to see how that plays out. And also something to note of kind of about the map design is it's very, very close corridors. I haven't really seen too many big open spaces, and it looks like a lot of it is actually indoors. So I feel like they're going for a sort of mob of the dead feel here. And then it would make sense to have all these overpowered melee weapons if we're going to be in, you know, such close quarters with the zombies at all times. So I believe that's how the map is going to be set up. I wouldn't expect too many big open training spaces. There might be one or two, but I would expect everything to be uh, very, very claustrophobic, to be honest. And then right there, we saw an absolutely devastating explosive melee where he just kind of slammed the ground and took out all the zombies around him. So potentially that could be like a fully upgraded wonder weapon or an upgraded melee. We don't really know. And then we see, of course, the Shaolin shuffle thing right here. And that is is basically the end of the trailer but we do got to talk about one more thing that was pretty much all the trailer breakdown stuff that we needed to really talk about but there's one more important thing that we need to discuss and this is the difficulty of the easter egg or really just the easter egg in general because i didn't want to have to tack this on at the very end of the video but i feel like if i don't say this now it's going to be too late because i i, I think we're going to solve it as quickly as we did raven the redwoods this easter egg to be honest, I mean, like, I don't know anything about it, I and mean, we can't really tell too much from the trailer, but it doesn't look like it's going to be very hard. We pretty much already know what to do in Infinite Warfare Zombies Easter Eggs is, you know, we kind of build something, or we go to three different locations, and then talk to our celebrity character through each time, and then eventually they're going to give us to the boss fight, you know what I mean? Like, it's following the specific pattern, and I almost don't like that. The Easter Eggs feel all too similar, and if this follows the same pattern, I don't want to jump into a brand new Zombies map and already kind of know what to do for the Easter Egg, right? Or already know what in direction... I should be going in it. It should be one of those things where they're all completely different. Yeah, you need to explore it for yourself and uh, build it from the ground up. I just have this weird gut feeling that this map's Easter egg is going to be solved way too quickly. Maybe not as quickly as Rave was solved, but maybe in a in a similar style, or maybe just a couple hours later. Probably within the first 24, I would say we're going to have Shallow and Shuffle already completed. But I don't know, guys. We'll have to see how that plays out. I'm a little bit concerned for that, but let me know what you guys are thinking about this in the comment section down below. There is the trailer breakdown for you guys, and also kind of like my opinions along with the easter egg tacked on at the very end there but if you guys did end up enjoying this video a like rating would always be appreciated and if you are brand new to the channel make sure to subscribe as soon as map does drops i am going to be hunting for this easter egg and we're going to see how that goes and it should be a lot of fun i'll have a lot of guides and tutorials coming out on the channel for this map as well so make sure you do stick around but once again, thank you all so much for watching. I'm very excited for this map, and I can't wait to bring it to you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll catch you all on the next video.